All right, today I'm going to be unboxing some beans. Not just any beans, not just a regular pinto bean or black bean or kidney bean or navy bean, you know, the common stuff you can get at the store. These are special. Now, they're special in the fact that they cost six to seven dollars per pound, but they're also heirloom beans from Mexico and other parts of Latin America. They're heirloom in nature and they Heirloom varieties are starting to go extinct. I recommend watching a documentary called Seeds. So I can't remember the whole title, but I'll put a link in the description. Uh, this company blew, had a lot of uh, internet attraction in the last few years during the pandemic. Uh, Ranch, the company I bought it from is called, or it's called Rancho Gordo, and they specialize in just keeping these beans alive and shipping them to whoever wants to eat them and try them because they're supposedly so supposed to have more a more rich and diverse flavor than that of some of the beans we get at the store and we're kind of used to. Um, I always wonder why. Is it because of the genes and the genetics and the qualities that were selected for by humans or if it was just the way that they're grown are not conventional like that of the United States or the beans grown in the United States. but. Anyways, I really am excited to try these. I've been waiting for them. Um, I even considered joining the Bean Club. Uh, who doesn't want to join the Bean Club? So, anyways, let's open it up. And this, these papers are just, yeah, my personal information, just my order details. So I'll leave that to me, my eyes only. And then it came with these interesting cards. It's a movie poster from the Rancho Gordo collection. Hmm. That's kind of interesting. And then it, this is a picture of the, the beans and on the back it kind of shows how to, it tells you how to cook with the dried beans and the, stove, the different methods. So stove top versus slow cooker versus pressure cooker. And then just more about the beans. Um, it, it's got a lot of good information. They don't just kind of leave you high and dry. And they packaged it pretty good. They got a good cardboard set up and it, you know, it's not really moving around, but how are you going to really damage beans? So I bought two pounds of Ayocote Morado beans. I had to say it in the accent because I have culture, but these beans are grown a lot in Mexico and they're purple and they're supposed to have a rich kind of like beef brothy flavor to them, which I've been making a lot of whole pinto beans and kind of adding it, you know, you kind of, I kind of cook it in a crock pot and do all this stuff. And it, to me, that seems relatively rich, but these are naturally supposed to be nice. Like you're not supposed to add any vegetable or beef or chicken broth um, with it. So I'm excited to try them out. If they're good, I bought one pack for eating and another pack for in case I wanted to grow them in my own garden next year. Um, but we'll see. Um, they weren't cheap. These were, like I said, six fifty or seven fifty per pound. So this is a little bit of an investment. But if you look at seeds to grow these or this type of bean, you, it's like you pay like four dollars for eight to ten beans. Um, that's ridiculous. Why well, pay that much when you can get a whole pound for six dollars? Make it make sense, okay? Um, I also like that they are purple. I wanted to note that. Uh, supposedly, fruit, uh, vegetables and fruits with all these different colors are supposed to have some type of antioxidant or something. I can't remember the, but they're supposed to be good for you. Sometimes I speculate that's why our current system, you know, we put food coloring and stuff to make it pop because naturally we're meant to like choose those foods or our hunter gatherer genes. But the second variety of bean that I got was the Mayocoba bean 
Uh, I think it's also called the Peruvian bean. Um, there's a lot of videos of people from, you know, Spanish speaking countries and I'm learning Spanish, but sometimes they speak a little too quick for me, but, um, yeah, supposedly these make a really good reef, refried bean. Um, I'm excited to try these. I thought they'd be bigger, but they're pretty small. A few cracked ones, but it feels like a pound. It feels pretty good. Um, overall, for what you pay, I'd expect good quality and Rancho Gordo. You didn't disappoint. I'll be sure to, you know, maybe do an update in the future and eat these beans, or I might add it in this video. Who knows? Maybe I'll make the beans tomorrow before work. Okay, I decided not to make the beans today because that's a whole video in and of itself. So, I would like to just say thanks for watching, and I encourage you to go look into the heirloom varieties and watch the the uh, documentary I mentioned earlier in the video. It's actually free on YouTube with ads, I believe, and it's definitely worth it. It really will change your perspective on the varieties you grow and the stuff we buy at the store. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and... Stay, stay tuned for the, the new videos I have coming out. In the future, I hope to finish that boat project and all that, and I have a few more ideas. But that's all on the way. It's all relative to what's going on in my life and in the weather. So I just wanted to put something out. So thanks.